Hive investigates with a closer look at how Massachusetts will slowly reopen and try to minimize risks through increased testing for COVID-19 and contact tracing. While Massachusetts is considered a leader in testing, our Mike Baudet discovered that the amount of testing happening still falls way short of what's needed to prevent a potential second surge. Massachusetts is testing more and more people for COVID-19 every day at sites like this one, but there's still a serious lack of tests statewide and nothing close to widespread testing of our population. For most people in Massachusetts, it's still not easy to get tested for COVID-19. In a state of nearly 7 million people, only a fraction of the population has actually been tested. Massachusetts is closing in on 400,000 people tested, resulting in nearly 80,000 confirmed cases and more than 5,000 deaths. We need to obviously expand uh, testing uh, to a much greater degree. Five Investigates spoke with Health and Human Services Secretary Mary Lou Sutters, who says the state continues to face supply chain challenges for testing. You know, we might have the lab and the machine, and then you find out you don't have the swabs. But what you do want to do is to test anyone who's symptomatic, frontline workers who come, come in contact with a lot of people, and people who are the close contacts. Testing and contact tracing are a key part of Governor Baker's plan as Massachusetts reopens in the weeks ahead. Contact tracing starts with a positive test result and then contact tracers try to identify everyone the infected person had close contact with. Close contact is defined as being less than six feet from someone for more than 15 minutes. People infected or at risk of infection must then isolate or self-quarantine. The goal, containing the spread of the virus. We're building the plane as we're flying it, and um, it is it is getting much better. Dr. Joya Mukherjee is chief medical officer at Partners in Health, which is working with the state on the Community Tracing Collaborative, along with the help of local boards of health. We need to get to the point that everyone who is clinically needs to have a test would have a test, and, and anyone at risk would have a test, and I know that is the direction we're going. Harvard's Global Health Institute with National Public Radio released new estimates on how much testing each state must do to contain the outbreak. Massachusetts needs to increase the number of people it tests for COVID-19 every day dramatically, from 10,000 to 71,000, a seven-fold increase. And you're going to see over the next couple of weeks through June um, a lot more testing capacity in Massachusetts. And it's not just testing, it's rapid testing so that you don't have to wait 24 hours, 48 hours, three days for your testing results. The Health and Human Services Secretary says she does not have a goal for how many people she wants to see tested in Massachusetts. She'll only say she wants to keep expanding testing so it's readily available. What that means in reality remains to be seen. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.